Hey there guys and welcome back again to Infamous 2. Okay, Zeke. Think I found it. Alright, now somehow Militia managed to isolate that transformer from the rest of them over in Ascension Parish. Oh, maybe I could bridge this one to the next one. Yup, it's time to go and get the power back on in part of the city. Something which, if I recall correctly, in Infamous 1 you had to do like 10 freaking times or something, which was really way too damn much. Luckily in this game they realized that and they improved it. You only have to do it, I think, three times at most. Alright, Zeke. I got the next transformer going. Good! Get on over to the Pronto. It'll take a while for the voltage to build. Militia are sure to try to shut that thing down before the relays reset the condenser. Really? Relays reset the condenser? <laughs> hey man, you in college prep? I took shop classes. So, uh, who's the dummy now? Depends on the subject, I guess. Oh, I hate being off the grid. Makes me, I don't know, thirsty. Careful in there, man. Ain't nowhere to recharge. Stick to the rooftops. Hey, Cole, I picked up some militia chatter on my squad box. They are riled up like a bunch of fire ants, and they're headed right towards you. I say let him come. I mean, come on, I'm standing on a freaking... Transformer, there's electricity coming out the wazoo. There's no way they're gonna beat me here. Here, have a tornado on the house. Clear him out. Turn this little alleyway into tornado alleyway. Get off the roof, you damn asshole. Oh jeez, lots more of them. Next year, sure, there's plenty of electricity to go around. Here, have some. And you. And you. It is Sinterklaas, after all. Dutch holiday, you Americans probably wouldn't get it. But yeah, it is, so yep, very festive day today indeed. Haha, <laughs> one down, two to go. Aw, oh, damn it, I thought this was the only one. Okay, fine, we'll shoot another rocket. And what's also pretty cool is that while you're controlling this, you can actually use it to mow down enemies in the area. There just aren't any enemies around right now, or that's what I'd totally be doing. Anyway, there's number two, let's go find it. Hey, how's Quo doing? It's weird, man. Her skin's as cold as a dead man's balloon knot. If I wasn't watching her breathe, I'd swear she was dead. You don't sound too worried. Actually, man, reminds me of taking care of you, the last in the Empire. But, uh, me and Trish were worried sick for nothing. Yeah, Trish should have been worried. Saving me got her killed. Oh, yeah, I remember back in Infamous 1 when Cole had a girlfriend who ended up killed by his future self, more or less. Yeah, good times those were. I don't really miss Trish, though. I didn't think she was that good of a character to begin with. It's like no matter what Cole did, there was always something wrong with it in her eyes. It's like, oh yeah, Cole, you went and saved all those doctors. Oh, but why didn't you save me? And if it's the other way around, oh, you saved me. Why didn't you save those doctors? Those doctors could have saved so many people. Cole could never do the freaking right thing. I guess... When you look at it that way, Trish was a pretty good representation of women. Because, I don't know why, but men can never seem to do whatever women want them to do. There's always something wrong with it. Women. Complicated creatures they are. Anyway, on this water tower there's like three freaking blast yards to be found, so might as well. And yep, that's all in the area. Jump down. Slow down the fall a little. I mean, sure, coal doesn't take fall damage, but still. Alright, bring it, rednecks. Ah, oh, crap, chain link fences around this place. While Cole can actually climb those in this game, as opposed to the previous one, he can still not shoot through them. So, yeah, Cole still hates chain link fences with a passion. Damn it, just get out from the freaking alleyway. I can't really hit him while they're in there. Also, they are totally swarming from... Ah, oh, crap, those are completely shielded by the chain link fence, and they are as well. Damn it. I'm sure they can shoot right through. Oh, no, no, stay off that thing. Don't you dare, asshole. Oh, jeez, they're chucking grenades. Not good. Oh, no, 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 get back here. Don't touch that. You don't know what you're... Oh, nice, I didn't even see that guy come, and he just got freaking blindsided. Get away from the thing. Kick him, and boom. And that big boom kills all the enemies, and it doesn't do a damn thing to call for some reason. Alright, final one. I would assume. And it is... 
right around that building or somewhere. Oh shit, nosedive. It's a pretty steep dive. Barely made it. So Zeke, you really think Quill might have powers? You think she might be like I was after the blast? I don't know, man. Maybe. Hey, I'm sorry to have brought up Trish like that out of nowhere. I know it's a sore subject. It's fine. I live with my mistakes. Eh, was it really a mistake though? I mean, was it really Cole could have done anything about? I don't think so. It was all Kessler's fault. Then again, Kessler is Cole, so I guess it is technically Cole's fault. Just not the Cole you're playing as right now. Ooh, Blast Shard. Uh, 15. Still need 5 more to get another energy core. Though I do think I have pretty... I have quite many for this early in the game, I think. I guess I did go on quite some Blast Shard hunts off-screen in between a couple episodes. I don't particularly remember which ones. But I certainly did. Because having too much power never hurts. Especially in areas like these, where there's no place to recharge. So the more energy cores you have, the easier these parts will be. And the thing is down here. Oh, nice landing. Come on, get off the, get off the pole, thank you. Alright, bring it on, rednecks. You there. Oh crap, I just blasted that pellet. Damn it, always chain link fences around. It's like they but they specifically placed these things in areas with lots of damn chain link fences. Oh, I kind of want that tornado thing. That's definitely going to be helpful. Why the hell is he just calmly strolling over there with a shotgun? Shotguns are close range weapons. You're not supposed to stroll casually over to your enemy. Damn it, another. Why do they always... Oh, will you please drop a tornado thing for me? Or teleport away? Where the hell did his corpse go? Yes, nowhere to be found. Oh, crap, here comes another one. Stay away from the thing, damn it. Ah, I made it. No, nothing they can do about it now. Nice. Alright, that should be all. Oh yeah. Yep, power's back on. Why the hell would they even turn that thing off? I mean, what do they hope to accomplish by that? It's only going to put people in danger. Uh, the street lights don't work. Maybe there's a hospital in there that would lose power. It's just not a good idea. Those militia goose steppers just kidnapped some girl from the slums. I mean, broad daylight and everything. You should find her, man. You'll look like a stud. Get a bunch of converts to your fan club. Wait, 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 wait. Do you mean to imply that Cole is not a stud already? Let's ask the female audience here for... As far as I have one. I know of a few, but I'm not even sure they're watching this. Do you, uh, female audience members, do you think Cole is hot? Go right ahead and post so in the comments. I mean, he's not the worst looking guy out there, I guess. He's pretty trained. I guess the gravelly voice might be a bit of a turn off, but still. What Cole does need is an awesome mustache, though. Mustaches make every man's face look better. I haven't grown a pretty kick-ass mustache myself. Quite fancy it. Still kind of a work in progress, but I'm getting there. Also, let's hop around the cemetery for a while. Because I'm not sure how long... If I remember correctly, the next side mission, or the next story mission is a pretty long one, so we'll just do some side missions. Friends, you've heard the news, seen the pictures. Empire City, reduced to a smoking ruin. Leveled to the ground by the unholy power of one man, Cole McGrath. A name that will forever live in infamy. Now, it is my sad duty to report that this evil man has come to New Marais, To my city. Rest assured, the militia is stronger than ever. My soldiers are already working tirelessly to hunt down Cole McGrath. And we will succeed if we all work together. Wherever he shows his face, I want y'all to rise up and stone him in the streets. It is our God-given duty to cast him out. Any person found aiding this monster is a traitor to the militia, to his own kind, to God Almighty. And he will be punished as such. If you spot this dangerous demon, 
avoid contact and call the militia's emergency hotline. You may be entitled to a generous cash reward. Our survival depends on you. Great, Bertrand's putting a price on my head and riling up the people to stone me in the streets. What the hell, dude? They think they're helping by fighting the monsters, but a lot of innocent people are getting shot in the crossfire! We really need your help! Oh, it's a good thing I triggered that conversation right there, because that guy would have totally gotten owned by that rocket those guys shot at me. I mean, just rewind a little and look for yourself. The rocket was about to hit that guy. Anyway, this little mission is called Choppers vs. Monsters. Which I think is a pretty... I'm not sure if it's like a reference to the, uh, the DreamWorks... Which I think it was Dreamers, the, the movie Monsters vs. Aliens. I kind of like that movie, it was pretty good. Pretty nice cast as well, the guy from House, I really like that guy. His voice is, oh shit, his voice is awesome. Uh, let's see, what are we dealing with here? We have a helicopter, a couple of those freaks, militia guys. Just chuck cars everywhere that should deal with all of them. Boom. Here's another one. This one's probably not going to explode anymore, but still, oh jeez. Nice. Oh yeah, there's that helicopter as well. Uh, let's see, my accuracy with cars against helicopters has been proven before to be absolutely terrible. So let's just keep spamming Magnum Bolt until it dies, because it's kind of staying out of grenade range. Really wish I had the rockets. Oh, nice. The rockets already. <laughs> Those would definitely be helpful here. Especially the... Uh, one of the good rockets, it's called the redirect rocket, pretty much you shoot it and then you shoot like a bolt at something and then the rocket will kind of turn around and go to the thing you shot the bolt at so it can kind of hit enemies from the back and everything. It's pretty cool. It's a little difficult to use, but it definitely has its uses. Alright, now what else are we dealing with? Jeez, they really ruined the street. Uh... Ah, shit, it's one of those digging assholes. Fine, here, have a car. Oh, crap. What the hell just happened? Well, that didn't go quite as planned. Coming through. Okay, there's one of those. Those are not much of a problem. And the... Wait, there's two of them? Ah, hell no. Alright. Come out, come out, wherever you... Oh, shit. Did not see that coming. Should maybe keep an eye on the freaking minimap. Here, have one. Ah, oh, shit, his projectiles redirected the damn car. Not good, not good. Oh, crap. I'm getting my ass handed to me by these two. Hmm. I guess you're kind of supposed to save this mission for later, perhaps. Well, that's good damage. Alright. No, careful. Careful now. Oh, come on, how can he turn around like that? Lame. Damn it. Stop burrowing. I hate fighting these things so very much. Uh, oh, just bashed me against the wall and kind of caused the camera to freak out there. Alright, I need some heavy weaponry. Because, oh crap, 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 not good. Hmm, this car maybe. Oh crap. What? The hell, seriously? Anyway, jump cut because I'm not doing that entire damn mission again. So here's the helicopter shooting rockets. Why didn't it do that earlier? But yeah, this is one of the uh, good places to get one of the particular trophies that this game has. And in this little bit, I'll be showing you how to get that. Wait for it to shoot rockets like this. Do the blast. Bounce them back. Chopper blows up. And that's how you get one of the trophies. Should pop any minute now. Any minute. Oh, there we go. Return to sender. Not sure if it's a reference to that song. I think I heard that in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas a shit ton. Uh, anyway, another jump cut because fighting these two assholes took way too damn long as well. And really, we know how they fight by now. Ooh, pallet. Nice, here, have this. Would that kill them? Awesome. Alright, that went well. Overall, I would say. Well, not really the first time around. But still, what the hell happened with the car there? That was crazy. So apparently, Cole cannot get stuck underneath the car because then he will die. Good to know. Stay away from the bomb, you dumbass. 
Why do you... I know it has pretty colors and everything, but it beeps. You generally do not want to stay near anything that beeps. Ooh, also another blast shard up there. That's totally going to get me to 20. And get me a new energy core in the process. Come on, Cole, get up there. Must have blast shard. And that is energy core number... I don't know, 15 or something? I'm not going to count those. That's what I have you guys for. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.